Australia is promising thousands of dollars to Rohingya refugees who agree to return to Myanmar, a country that has been accused of ethnic cleansing against the Muslim minority. Asylum seekers in the Australian-run detention centre on Papua New Guinea's Manus Island have been pressured by officials to return to their home countries, even if they face violence. Papua New Guinea's Supreme Court last year ruled the centre for around 800 people breached human rights, was illegal and must close. Australia has since ratcheted up efforts to clear the centre, offering up to $25,000 to refugees agreeing to go home. Returning Rohingya to their country could put their lives at risk. Myanmar does not recognize the ethnic minority and has conducted military operations in Rohingya villages that the United Nations top human rights official branded a textbook example of ethnic cleansing. Myanmar footage reveals scorched earth campaign against Rohingya read more close to 400,000. Rohingya have fled to neighboring Bangladesh, many with bullet wounds and stories of mass killings. As their villages burn, the Guardian understands up to seven Rohingya may be facing return from Manus Island and spoke to two refugees in PNG who said they were going back. Yaya Tabani, a 32-year-old Rohingya man who arrived in Australia in 2013 but was sent to Manus Island, said he had no choice but to return. I don't want to stay in PNG, said Tabani, who used to sell mobile accessories. I don't want to die in PNG. I prefer to die in Myanmar. Probably Buddhist people are going to kill me as soon as I arrive in Myanmar. Australia doesn't care if we live or we die. He said he had been promised $25,000 by the Australian Border Force. He had not yet received any money, and does not have a bank account into which it can be paid.